Hi everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, thank you so much for clicking on this video. It means the world to me. So today I am going to be showing you how I achieve my big full lips, which is the reason why I literally have nothing on my lips and it feels so weird right now. But I'm going to show you all the techniques that I use and how I make my lips look like this to literally Kylie Jenner. So if you are interested in seeing how I achieve my big, full, luscious lips, make sure that you just keep on watching. Also, if you're not yet part of the family, you already know what to go do. Please go subscribe down below. It is the button right next to my name and put my post notifications on. It means the world to me. And without further ado, let's get started. My lips literally like when i talk my upper lip literally goes away like it's so ugly i wanted to talk about my room i fixed it um i totally rearranged my room because you know quarantine things don't look at my makeup organizer because i know the fuck that play what the fuck that play what the fuck is that so one of the techniques that I like to use is I like to make a at-home DIY lip scrub and you will only need two items that are probably sitting around in your house right now. It is honey and sugar. I literally just grab these from my cabinet, super easy. And I'm using a contacts case because I literally don't have anything like, I don't have like a little lip scrub holder to put it in. Bruh. The honey just splat everywhere and it's on my pants. Okay, so to make this lip scrub, you're gonna take your contacts case and put the tiniest amount, obviously, because I don't have a lot of space in here, but it really depends on how big your container is. But I'm just gonna squirt like the tiniest amount in there, literally the smallest, you can see that. I might add in some more later. Now I'm just taking my um, little spoon and I'm taking about this much. And then to stir it, I just take a bobby pin that I no longer really care for. And obviously, if you want to add more sugar, you can, which I'm going to because I didn't put enough in. You can just keep adding more sugar and honey as you go. You really want this to be like super gritty because it's kind of going to work like an exfoliant. This is what my scrub looks like. So it looks really nasty, but it just looks like this kind of like a chunky Vaseline and you don't want to mix it around too much because you don't want to get rid of the sugar grain because you need that to like exfoliate your dead skin cells. So when that is all done and mixed, I just like to take my finger or fingernail, whatever, and just place it on my lips like that and kind of just spread it around like so. I hate honey, so I'm trying not to like let it touch the inner of my mouth. You may want to wash your hands after that because it does get a little messy on your hands and honey is sticky and sugar gets everywhere. So just letting you know. Now I take my toothbrush. Sorry, I'm talking a little weird because I'm trying not to touch the sugar and honey on my lips because I can already taste it. But I just take a toothbrush that I don't use for really anything. And what you're going to want to do is work it in circular motions like this. You don't want to go back and forth because circular motions gets rid of the most dead skin cells. Um, I don't know if I just fit or if that was like water from my toothbrush, but that was gross. And then once you feel like all the dead skin cells are finally off your lips, and your lips are just really smooth, I like to go ahead and take a baby wipe and just wipe away the excess lip scrub. <gasps> they feel so smooth. They literally feel so smooth. Oh my gosh. Y'all sleep on this. It's literally like only honey and sugar. Like I promise you, I literally, if I could kiss myself right now, I would. So now after this, I usually go in with my chapstick. Um, Anything works depending on your lips just take your favorite chapstick this one is bliss tex um this one is okay i just used it because it was the closest one to me this is the bliss tex ultra rich hydration one this one works like pretty good you're gonna want to do a thin coat of chapstick after that just because this part is completely optional but i like to go in with a lip plumper this one is from soap and glory and it is called the sexy mother pucker extreme plump 
XL lip plumper. I'm just gonna squeeze it out and put this onto my lips. And you're gonna wanna make sure this is coating everywhere. So make sure it's touching all parts of your lip. And it's okay if it touches a little bit around your lip, it won't do a lot. Now I usually wait about eight to 10 minutes until it starts like stinging and vibrating a little bit. It doesn't sting like to the point where it's like unbearable or intolerable. Personally for me, it doesn't even like feel painful in any sort of way. So obviously it's completely up to you, but this part is completely optional. You don't need to do it, but I just like to do this extra step. So now I'm just gonna wait for this to sink into my lips and I will be right back. Hey, I got a bitch who gon' fight hoes. Hey, I got a bitch who gon' light hoes, white girl. The mama party girl, she just wanna find two. They say you ain't wifey type, but I don't care, I want you. She likes to do drugs too, she in love with those too. They say you too positive, but I think that I love you. Okay, so it's been about 10 minutes and it's finally starting to vibrate and sting a little on my lips. So I like to take the excess of the lip plumper with this baby wipe and I'm just wiping it off. And now we can finally get onto the makeup and how I illusion my lips a little bit. So I'm gonna take my lip liner. This one is by Maybelline. This one is in the shade 130 Dusty Rose. And what I like to do is start on the bottom I'm literally lining the bottom of my lip, but I'm going underneath slightly of my real natural lip line. So my bottom lip is naturally crooked. This part goes a little down and this part goes a little up. So I like to fix that and I just kind of even this part out with the lower part. So my lips do look even and then for the top lip i do the same thing i just slightly overline the top of my lip i literally go like right over the natural line if that makes sense so i don't have a brown lipstick so i've been actually using my contour stick which actually has been working really well by the way this is literally like two or three dollars at the drugstore And now I'm just going in with my favorite, favorite lipstick to put in my middle area. And this is the Anastasia Lipstick Honey. And I'm just going to place this right smack dab in the middle. I got lipstick on my teeth. So I like to place this specifically in the middle of my lips because it gives my lips like a more puckered look. Now, after I place the honey, I go in with my Milani lipstick. This one is in the shade Luminoso. Did I say lipstick? I mean lip gloss. So this is the Keep It Full Lip Gloss by Milani. And I just swipe this over. I like to use a lot of lip gloss. I feel like lip gloss makes my lips look so big and i just love it i'm just gonna go in with a concealer brush and some concealer and obviously clean up any messes that i made which is usually more on my bottom lip I don't know what my brows look like that from far away, but I promise that they're not that crusty looking. And then you are finished with your DIY at home lip injection. So I really hope that you all enjoyed it. I really hope you all took some advice from this and try it out. And if you do, please let me know how it works for you and tag me so I can see. I really enjoyed filming this for you. And if you would like to see some other tips that I have been using recently, just let me know. And I would love to film that for you. Thank you so much for watching. I love you all so much. Please don't forget to like, comment, share, and subscribe on your way out. And I will see you all in my next video. Bye.